song, the song. They shall be rescued and be delivered. Captains of the might, the slaves of the strong. They shall be rescued and be delivered.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, thank you. Hey. Have a nice evening. Good. Ah, Father. You. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank oh, you, Lord. Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, honey, Ah, that's true. Let's go pray. It's a word of prayer. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Father, we just want to thank you. Father, thank we you, are grateful. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah, Father. Thank you, Lord. You have done it at last. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You have done it for us, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Ah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Despite all the hindrances Thank you, Lord. Thank and the you, Lord. obstacles mm, 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 the devil mm. and his agents ah, placed on our way. Ah. You gave us victory, yes, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You gave us victory. Yes, Lord. We say, Lord, mm, mm. begin to talk to us. Yes, Lord. Begin to instruct us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Concerning mm. our lives yes, together Lord. Yes, as Lord. man and wife. Yes, Lord. Concerning mm. our future. Yes, Lord. Yes, concerning Lord. our ministries. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank Lord, you, Lord. Ah. we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jehovah. Ah, hallelujah. We thank you, God. Oh, we lift up our hands yes. to the great I What you have done? You broke the vow, Mabel. You went ahead and broke the vow. I know of no more vow again between you and I, Iguana. No more vow again. As far as I am concerned, no more vow exists between you and I. Come back here. Do you realize what you are saying? This decision you have arrived at is the wrong one. It will never be in your interest. Have you seen why a vow such as ours is annulled this way? Just like that? Oh, maybe. <laughs> you have to recede on this decision of yours. Nah! You lie! Iguana, the decision is made already. I don't love you again, and I can never love you again. Never! Never! The Lord has given me a man whom I'm to love and to cherish. You are of the devil. I renounce you and I reject you in the name of Jesus Christ. You wanna leave me alone? Yeah! Yeah! What is the matter? What is the matter? What is the matter? 
You screamed out of your sleep. Okay. Yes. I had a bad dream. Somebody frightened me in my dream. The person said he's not happy about our wedding. Who is the person? Mabel, do you know the person? I mean, did you see the person? Uh, I, I, I don't think I know the person. Then we must silence the mouth of every adversary that stands against this wedding. We need to pray and silence them. Why should you have such a bad dream on the first night of our honeymoon? We need to pray against all those who are annoyed against this wedding. This is a glorious wedding and it is the Lord's doing. Let us pray, neighbor. Let us pray. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we declare this wedding sacred and sanctified. Lord, you are the one who have joined us together in holy matrimony. Father, we have resolved to live for your glory. Mm. Let everyone that rises up against us mm. fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same weapon from the fashion against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. We say every evil spirit that rises against us we destroy in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, In you. Jesus' name. Amen. What do you want here? I've told you to leave me alone, Iguana. You have no single right to break this vow, Mabel. And you know it. You and I were both married together. And you know it too. Now listen, Iguana. Leave me alone. I have no part nor portion in you. I renounce you and I reject you in Jesus' name. You are not my husband. Haki is my husband in Jesus' name. Did you say that you have no part or portion in me? Yes, Iguana, because you are of the devil. And I am a new creature, sanctified and purified with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I know. But what about the children? Mabel, you and I have come a long way together for any man to come between us. What about the children? I do not know of any children between you and I, Iguana. I renounce you, and I renounce the children too. You renounce the children too? You renounce Elama and Gentus, Phobia and Bibi? 
Abel. You renounce all the four children we have between us. Have you renounced me with all these children? How can I serve God and Mammon together? Iguana, the Lord has given me my real husband. He is Akinwale, and I'm his wife. And together we are going to have children who are of the Lord. We will all serve God together. I renounce you, and I renounce all your children in Jesus' name. Now listen, Mabel. I have tried my best to appeal to you passionately. But I think you have resolved to fight a war you'll never win. You are mistaken, Iguana. This war is already won by the Lord Jesus Christ. Leave me alone with my husband. We have come a long way together. You cannot reject us now. Those are your children, Mabel. No, I renounce them all in Jesus' name. Today, the battle line is drawn. Your decision has endangered the life of your husband and yours too. You will never find it easy until you come back to us. No, you have no right to come into this house again. You have no right to come into our life. I forbid you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mabel, as long as you dwell in this house, I have access into it. You are my direct license into this house any time, any day. Because you cannot deny the fact that you and I were both married too. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things. Is that so? But you had your last child after you said you had become a new creature. You had become a church worker and a choir director when you gave birth to Bibi. Just get out! Get out of this place! Oh, yeah, you get out of this place! Let's go, 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 go! Let's get out of this place! Oh, uh, how are you doing, sweetheart? Thank you. Uh oh, you look depressed. Are you okay? I've been feeling so weak. Really? We shall leave. <coughs> we left the hobbies to the market and then back home. In fact, I've been feeling so weak these past few days. I just don't know why. Is that so? Yes. Honey. Good. It means we'll have to see the doctor first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what's there to eat? Oh, sorry. I've not been able to prepare anything. Mm -hmm. But I have some bananas. Do you want some? Bananas. Good. All right by me. I love bananas. Okay. <sighs> Oh, thank you, my darling. Yeah. Hey, honey, what's it? Hey, here, here. Sorry. The result shows positive. Yes. She's expecting a baby. Eh? Praise God. Doctor, I beg your pardon, sir. The 
The pregnancy is two months old already. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has done it again. Oh, oh praise oh, God. Thank you, Doctor, Jesus. thank you very much. Thank you, I'm Jesus. Very good for you, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, the Lord is thank you. Oh, the Lord. This is your doing. Yes, Lord. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Yes, Lord. Oh, we thank you. Thank God. you, Lord. There were wars, hindrances, yes, and obstacles yes, to stop our wedding. Yes, yes, but Lord. you fought for us, Lord. Lord thank you. And Jesus. you shamed the devil. Thank you, Jesus. And all his agents. Thank you, Lord. Thank Even you. Even after the wedding, oh God, mm. there were various mm. roaring of the enemy mm. Mm. to mm. frighten us. Mm. But you, Jehovah, oh. Jehovah, the oh. man of war, oh. you fought for us mm. and you gave us victory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. And now, Lord, thank you, Lord, we have the fruit of the womb. Oh, praise Lord. to your holy name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be your Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, Hallelujah. we just want to thank you. Father, I want to thank you for my husband. Yes. I want to thank you for him, oh Lord. Yes. Thank you for your grace upon his life. Yes. Thank you for me too. Thank you yes. for my womb, oh Lord. Thank yes. you for blessing me with this fruit of the womb. Father, yes. we give you praise, oh Lord. Thank you for our home, oh Lord. Yes. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mabel! What do you want? The flower. Which flower? The tender flower, of course. No. You cannot touch this flower. It is mine. You're mistaken, honey. I will not only touch the flower. I'll touch the pot, too. No, Iguana. You cannot touch this flower. It is mine. The pot belongs to both of us. No. Give it to me. No, Iguana. Give it to me. No, Iguana. Give it to no, me. No, Iguana. Ah, oh, Iguana. No, no. Give me the pot. Oh, no. No, give me the pot. No. No. Mabel, what is the matter? Mabel, huh? what is the matter, Mabel? What is the matter? Uh, toilet. Huh? Okay. Toilet. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Jesus. You are welcome. Have your seat. Good enough. Thank you. You are blessed, dear sister. What is the problem all about? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Come on. Raise up now and tell me what it is all about. Ma. And Mabel, a born again child of God, a church worker, in fact, the choir leader of my church. I belong to one of the biggest Pentecostal churches in the city. I am married. And my husband is the Bible study leader of our church. We've been married for two years now. Yes, good. And up till now, 
we're still looking unto the Lord for a child. Yes, go. This has continually made me sad every day. Yes, go. That is all. Are you sure? Sure. Then there is no cause for alarm. Are you surprised to hear that? You are married for the past two years and you've got to know his right. Many ladies and women in the Lord have been here on the same matter and I've said the same thing to them. No cause for alarm. But for some of them have boldly and emphatically made them realize that there are many causes for alarm. Really? How, how do you mean, ma? You see, Mabel, for those who have no cause for alarm, these are the children of God, born again. Those who are working in the will of God and they are living their life in the counsel of God. They have no part with unrighteousness and they are righteous before the Lord. They have no cause for alarm. Because in the NIV version of Exodus 23, 26, the Lord says, no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. And you will fulfill the numbers of your days. That is the verdict. But I have not gotten an issue since I have been married for two years. Oh yes, if your ways is perfect before the Lord and you wait upon him, then you have no cause for alarm. The child will come. Please. Tell me, Mama. I know of seven women mentioned as barren in the Bible, and none of them died childless except one, and that is Michael, the wife of David. She died without a child because she despised the Lord. And who the mothers had children before they died? Oh, yes. Mm, they were barren for a while. But the Lord opened their womb at the appointed time. And when these children came, each of them was a great child of God. You see, when the Lord will open the womb of Rebecca, she gave birth to two nations. Rachel's womb was open with Joseph, the prime minister of Egypt. Manuel gave birth to Samson, the most physically powerful man ever lived. And Hannah gave birth to Samuel, that great prophet. Sarah born Isaac, the child of promise. And Elizabeth gave birth to John, the forerunner of Jesus Christ. You see, it was as if their womb were reserved for specially great children. I believe the child will come. Oh, yes. If you remain loyal to the Lord and you rest on him, he has never disappointed his children and he will not disappoint you either. But I wonder if my case is not among those who are having causes for her land. What do you mean? I've been having bad dreams since I got married. There is a man that comes to give me problem in my dream. The first night of our honeymoon, he came to me telling me that I had broken the vows that I had with him. I have had five miscarriages since I got married. Each 
each time I was pregnant, I would see him plucking a tender flower from the flower pots. And the following morning, after beating me in my dream, I will see, I discover that I have lost the pregnancy. For the past seven months, I have not been able to take him. This man you always see in your dream, didn't you used to see him before you got married? I used to see him before I got married, ma. You were merely seeing him occasionally or you were both close as husband and wife? Um, very close, ma. Almost every night as husband and wife. Then you must have gotten some children. Have you been seeing some children with him in your dream? Yes. I used to see some four children with him. And many times I find myself in their midst. Have you told your husband? I mean, did you know about the man and the children? You mean you never told him anything before you got married? No, ma. I thought I would be able to get over this man that comes to disturb me in my dreams. After I've been married. But even on my wedding day, this man came physically. I saw him in the midst of the crowd. And since that time, he has been coming to threaten my life. And many times he comes to assault me. Lida, no. I want you to talk to me. Since you got married, have you at any time seen this man in your dream sleeping with you? I mean, lying with you? <laughs> Maybe I'm, you've got to open up. You've got to open up, Mida. Yes, about three times now, and the last time was about a month ago. <laughs> Ma, I really need your help. Please help me. I have prayed and I have fasted about this issue so many times. In fact, I have rebuked him many times in the name of Jesus. But it keeps coming to threaten my life. Please help me. I need your Mabel, do you realize this man is your spirit husband? And you both have spirit children? Yes, I knew it. I knew it before I got married. But I just assumed that it will die out as soon as I'm married. Please help me. Your deliverance starts right inside your home, Mabel. First, your husband must know about this. What? I don't see how that can ever be possible. How can I, how can I, how can I, 
break my husband's heart. Can't the Lord do this thing without him getting to know about all this? I mean, can't I be delivered? You've got to open up to your husband so that both of you can withstand this evil man who has been making your marriage uncomfortable. Ma, don't you understand? Is it conceivable? Telling my innocent husband that I, that I have a spirit husband that has been responsible for all the troubles that we've been having since all these days. And now to tell him that I've gotten some children for this spirit husband when I have not been able to give him the joy of cuddling one. If you want to come out of all this, you must open up to your husband and allow the Lord to take over the whole matter. But will it not rather be his joy to get to know all this on the naming ceremony of our child? I mean, getting to know about my deliverance. Mabel, do you realize you have sinned against this man by keeping all this matter from him? You made him carry his sorrow and confusion without making him realize the matter lies with you. That is exactly what I'm saying. That is exactly what I'm saying. Will the revelation not affect him? Would it break his heart if he gets to know that I've been unfaithful to him and that I've been keeping all those things since all these days. Ah, Lord. Lord, help me. Oh. Yes. Oh, Lord. Remember the Bible says, two are better than one. Ah. You have no moral or spiritual strength to fight this battle alone. Go and open up to your husband. Tell him everything. Then come back to me. Mabel, you must open up to your husband. Keep nothing back. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can you permit me to ask you a question? Yes, go on. I don't think you know how I am feeling. Having to go and confront my innocent husband. And telling him that I've been responsible for all the troubles we've been passing through all the seas. And making him to understand that I've been responsible for our not being able to have a child for the past two years. You have not yet asked your question, Mabel. How old was your marriage, Ma, before you had your first child? Mabel, it may interest you that my marriage was nine years old two weeks ago. And we are still waiting upon the Lord for a child. What? The Lord has promised my husband and I that a great child is coming into our family. It's going to be as great as Samuel, and we are waiting for him. So, we have no cause for alarm. Nine years? 
Yes. But my own case is different from yours, Mabel. I have never had spirit husband. In fact, I knew the Lord very early. And I have loved and been serving him since. But like Hannah and Rachel, the Lord is reserving my womb for that great child. So, have I answered your question? Maybe. Maybe. Go and open up to your husband. Keep nothing back. medical doctors and three specialists have certified me medically fit. I have become more confused, Mama. Ah. Why are you confused? I mean, tell me, why are you confused? You have been certified medically fit. Then the problem was lying. Ah, something must be wrong with her. <laughs> but Mama, we were both certified medically fit on each occasion. And medical reports reveal that there is nothing medically wrong with her. That is medical report. I mean, that is medical report. I am talking about moral report. I mean, spiritual report. Definitely there is nothing wrong with you. You said, she had more than four miscarriages now? <laughs> How? Why? Eh? <laughs> I don't know, Mama. You see, it just happened. You see, she was very, very sad on each occasion. You know, it really disturbed us a lot. You know, I just don't know. Come with it, my son. What just happened? Having four miscarriages in rapid succession at and you say it just happened. Ah! Haki, your situation is pathetic. Very pathetic. She must be a witch. Ah! Mama! Mama! How can you say that, Mama? Ah! She is my wife, Mama. Ah! There is no witch in this house, Mama. The mere fact that we have a delay in having children does not mean you should come here and call my wife a witch. Mama, she is a child of God. Ah, oh, Mama. Listen. What's the matter, honey? There is nothing wrong with me. Nothing at all. You think you can bribe me with your fake smiles and hypocritical hospitality? Neighbor, you can't keep me from expressing my observation. You just can't. Observations? Mama, what observations? Neighbor, what could have cost four miscarriages in rapid succession? What, Neighbor, if not witchcraft? Eh? Mama! You call me a witch? Mama, 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 this is enough. Ah, mama, this is enough. Ah, mama, you, 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 you can't come here and start calling my wife a witch. Ah, look, we might have a mere delay in having children, but that does not mean you should call her a witch, mama. Ah, you cannot call her a witch. She's not a witch, mama. Leave me alone. Don't shout on me. Let her explain what caused those miscarriages. Ah, mama. Anything could have caused it. Hmm. But definitely, I'm not a witch, Mama. You're not a witch. Hey. Witch. Mama. <laughs> 
Mama, Mama, why are you enjoying her spirit, Mama? Why? Why, Mama? Eh? Mama, we should find words of encouragement eh? and blessings from your mouth, Mama. Not words of hopelessness and discouragement, Mama. Eh? Mama, why? Why, Mama? Mama, I'm terribly disappointed with you this night, Mama. I'm terribly disappointed. Eh? Why, Mama? Eh? Well... <laughs> 